Hey everyone, so in this video I'm doing something a bit different than I normally do because I'm trying to branch out in terms of subject matter. Um, I'm doing a landscape on some mixed media paper that I picked up. I want to test out some mixed media paper as part of my uh, marker paper types video that I've been promising for ages. It's the last one I want to test and that I actually don't use markers in this picture. I did use it for my Tuesday video, but I'm going to be testing it out some more before making my paper types video. But that's the reason I purchased it. And this little six by eight pad is a really good size. I also have a bigger pad, but I actually really quite like the six by eight. It's, it's a nice small size when you don't want to do a full sized artwork. My other one is 11 by 14 and I knew that would take me ages to do this art on that paper so I just thought no I'm going with the small paper <laughs> especially since I'm doing double the videos well, like filming double the videos this past week uh, I'm now done but it's because I have a friend visiting me this coming week this the week that you're watching this video my friends visiting and so I had to get uh, videos up in advance so this past week has been crazy <laughs> getting up my art videos and toy videos, getting those done. And then the vlogs, I can't pre-film those, obviously, since I film them every day. But yes, it feels really good to finally be done. And filming this voiceover is just the last thing, the finishing touch. So it feels pretty good. It's past midnight, though, and I feel exhausted. So yeah, <laughs> hopefully I don't sound too mellow or anything. <laughs> so I have this picture that I took the other day at Lynn Canyon Park that's in Vancouver. Canada and I was at that park and there's just so many beautiful views. I took some photos and I thought it'd be fun to draw some of those. So this is one of the more simple looking ones, at least in my mind. <laughs> I thought that would be a good one to do on a small piece of paper because some of the other ones will definitely have to be done on larger paper so I can get in more detail. Um, but this was a nice little test one and so I'm using my watercolors and some pencil crayons to do this. So I started with a watercolor and went until I felt like I didn't want to do more detail with it and then went in with the pencil. And I felt the ba like the background was a real struggle because there were so many skinny lines and fine details in there and I just could not be bothered to copy it exactly as it looked. It was just too tedious for me plus it was just a struggle trying to, I guess, color in the backgrounds. Like for example, the dirt is a super dark brown. It looks black in my reference photo and then there's the green plants on top. And because I'm using opaque mediums, well, the pencils aren't really opaque, but er, they're not transparent per se, but you can't really color on top of other colors very well. Like if I colored black, something black. I can't really color on top of it with green. So uh, if I had used something like acrylics for the plant portion, it would have worked a lot better because I could have laid down flat dark color, let it dry, and then paint the plants on top and it would have worked nicely. But because of what I was using, it was much more difficult. And so I just couldn't be bothered <laughs> to spend too much time on it. So I really like the stairs and I feel like the the mid ground area where there's a whole bunch of little plants and stuff by the roots of the tree I feel like that part's pretty lackluster but I do like the background background and then the staircase itself I love how the wood is kind of wonky like these wooden blocks that are between each step you notice that some of them are sticking off at weird angles and stuff that's just how it was I really like that and I, I don't know, I just really like doing wood. And for the rocks, I really like doing those too, but I had to add a lot of them afterwards in paint just because I wasn't gonna color around every little teeny tiny pebble and a lot of them were just little specks and so it was easier to go in with paint afterwards. Although I did do a lot of speckles with the pencil itself. And for the upper steps, they you notice they look a little bit different. I didn't just draw them flat looking to do it as like a cop out or a cheat. The, t the upper steps are actually different. So the bottom steps are these really thick planks of wood and then those upper ones are actually just dirt steps. So the top of the step is just dirt, it's the ground. And then they put two by fours in front to create sort of the front of the step. And so it's completely different than the ones down below and they don't have those blocks either. They just have, they have one two by four laying sideways and then two small pieces sticking up to hold up the front of the plank. So. That's why that looks a little bit different, but um, 
yeah, I just really want to practice more things like this. Well, I want to practice everything. That's the struggle is, you know, I start to branch out a little bit, but I can't, I don't know. I guess I don't want to focus on one thing for too long because I feel like I need to improve on so many different things. It's really hard because it's like I want to do everything at once. But anyway, um, I think it would be really cool for me to practice a type of style that relates to storybooks kind of that really fairy tale like illustrative style I want to develop something like that mostly focusing on backgrounds and simplified characters and then like I mentioned in my Q&A when I'm doing random portraits of characters that I make up like it's a person that I want to be a little bit closer to semi-realism but then I want to have kind of a second style it's more like a storybook style if that makes sense so that's something that's been on my mind lately so I had that in mind when I made this, although I wasn't really trying to make it look cartoony or stylized. I was trying to, for the most part, copy the picture. I knew the colors weren't exact and I knew the plants were not going to be exact because they were driving me nuts. <laughs> but um, I think it'd be fun to revisit this or take one of my other pictures that I took and instead of trying to copy it exactly as it is, recreate it but in a slightly cartoony style. Like maybe there's more of an outline around things less realistic shading that kind of thing I mean this is not photorealism to begin with um, I don't know if it would even be considered realism I think it's still kind of stylized as it is but um, stylize it more so it looks like something that could be in a kid's book maybe some slightly softer coloring on things um, I instead of you know I can make a big really cool big leaves and just sort of stray from what is in the photo and make it more imaginative, I guess. Uh, doing something like that would be pretty fun. I think that would be a good exercise to do to branch out into more of a storybook style thing. <sighs> yeah, oh, there's a million things I want to do. I would love to illustrate a book. I don't think I could illustrate someone else's book, though. I feel like the passion would just not be in it. I would need to write a children's book myself and then illustrate it. I think that would be really fun. Whether or not it gets published, I don't really care. It would just be fun to make. And I could also just self-publish if I want. But I also would love to make a coloring book. I'd love to make other kinds of books, like an art book. Like, there's just so many things. Yeah. <laughs> too many things, too many things. But I don't know. I had a lot of fun with this. And um, I did it during one of my live streams on Twitch and was having a really good time during that stream. So thank you so much to everyone who came out. This picture is definitely one that looks better from afar or with a slight blur to it because when I was live streaming, I could look over at my computer screen and see what my webcam was capturing. And it wasn't the most crystal clear footage. It was slightly blurred, I mean, I don't know if that's the right term I want to use to it, but it, it was, it was. It was like it had the teeniest amount of blur to it. Plus, I'm seeing it from afar on the computer screen in a small window, and it looked so much better, but seeing it in real life and up close, like in this video you're seeing it up close, it does not look as good at all. It's one of those things where it's like, okay, hold this five feet from my face and maybe squint a little. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not trying to put down my art. It's just... I don't know the things that go through my mind when I look at it and just sharing my thoughts with you guys. I kind of like how it's rough, but I feel like the all the plants, they're too rough and it bothers me and I just kind of gave up on them. <laughs> but I was having tons of fun with the stairs. <laughs> all right, we're winding down to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing something a little bit different than what I usually do. I mean, even my Tuesday video was a bit different. It was just a really cartoony character. And this one is a little landscape. I just felt so inspired when I was at the park. I just thought, I need to draw this stuff. It's just so beautiful. And I'm going to be going back to the park this week, so I'm pretty excited. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. This area is definitely less maintained. I wonder if they plan on rebuilding any of this. But, for example, this these stairs, they just go to nowhere. And then this is all washed out. I kind of like this because it's, um, I don't know,